Hey, Shine Honors. Uh, welcome <clears throat> to this week's edition of Shot of Espresso. Jim Cremella coming at you. Uh, and this is a, a special edition. It's probably going to be a fairly abbreviated version of Shot of Espresso. But I had uh, a couple of requests over the last two weeks about um, even taking a step further back on TikTok about how do you even create an account? What do you look for for inspiration? Those types of things. So uh, I know Steven's gone into some of the tactical stuff that we do, setting up ad groups, uh, different campaign setups, things like that. Uh, so I wanted to be able to answer for those of you out there that are interested in doing TikTok, but you have zero clue where to even start. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and start with TikTok ads. So all you're going to do is go to ads.tiktok.com. And then you'll be redirected to this page. So that is ads.tiktok.com. Click enter. This is you. Okay. Then you're going to go up here to create new or create now. You'll create now. And my stuff has already been set up. Uh, so therefore, can't really set it up again. However, you can. So you'll just start now, follow the prompts all the way through fill out your information. You have a business. Uh, if you have a business that you're running your stuff in, uh, set up as the business, the LLC, the EIN number, all of that fun uh, data information that you get to enter whenever you create a new ad platform account. And that will get you in to uh, making a TikTok ad account. All right. So what happens when you want to get some inspiration? You don't want to pay for spyware or, or spy software to find different uh, top performing ads, what you can do is go to ads.tiktok.com creative center. Otherwise, you can just Google uh, TikTok creative center. So TikTok creative center in Google, and you'll get to this page. And once you have a user account, uh, you'll be able to log in and see all of the top performing ads that left their stuff available. Now, I will say, um, there are a lot of ads and when you set up your ads, you have the choice of do you want to share to Creative Center or not? Uh, and then you can pick whether you want to or not. We personally do not. We, we hide our ads. Uh, you guys see them enough as it is. Um, so we do hide our ads uh, so that other competitors outside of you all looking at these types of videos can't see them. Um, but this will give you inspiration about what does a good ad on TikTok look like? from a template standpoint. So don't just look at this as, well, I'm not selling Skittles. I'm not selling an iPhone 13. I'm not selling a UV clear sunscreen. Look at the format. Look at what do they have? So this guy has sound in his video pointing up. He's not talking, just text above, just like you would in it. So it's a quick clip. So you've got a 17 second ad. This is the intro. After uh, three seconds in, it changes to a new scene. Here you are. This is what happens when I'm not on this particular, I think it's uh, cerebral. So it's some form of nutraceutical. Uh, and then keep going up. Oh, there's another one. So you see it's very quick cuts to different scenes. So you got three seconds of the intro to hook. This is his hook. Life before I found cerebral. Look at me. I'm a TikToker because I have LED lights on my ceiling and I'm pointing straight up and I'm looking and then okay, fine. But within the first three seconds, he changes. Then two seconds afterwards, we're into five seconds, uh, six seconds. And now I've done the next changeover. So I ate a bunch. I overslept. I was lazy. So what is this ad doing? It's stoking the problem, right? Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Uh, another bad and problem. And then the song came up and now I do a transition into the next. Now it's like, look, I went outside and I can see the sun and now I look happy and come by this thing. And I use my emoji call outs because this is what a TikTok does. So you take standard copywriting template mixed with a TikTok styling, and you've got yourself a pretty good ad. So stoke the problem, offer your product as the solution, quick cuts in the video, good transitions. You don't have to talk in it if you don't want. Um, 
I recommend you at least allow them to read the phrase if you're doing a message card style uh, of a product. So make sure that they can read it. Uh, if you don't want to read it to them, have them, you know, have it as you're doing the cuts. Maybe it's in front of uh, outside and then you bring it inside and then you see like, ah, I love it. And then you cut from there. But it all has to, they have to see the phrase. Okay. Uh, one of the biggest suggestions I can make at this juncture is have the audio track, have music in it, but have a voiceover, whether it's your voice or you hire someone off of Fiverr to do the voiceover, um, have them read out the phrase. So the phrase is plain. And if you don't, if you don't want to do that, you could do it really cheap and just do uh, text to speech. So inside of TikTok's ads manager, you can go to assets and then um, yeah, let me show this, see if I can do this real quick. Give me one second and pull it up. I think it might just be easier to do this. Test account. All right, let me rump back over here. Okay. So if you go to assets and creatives, here's my creative center. And now what I can do is go to video editor. And I can create it or whatever it is that you want to use for, for your video. And again, you can either take, um, I would recommend doing lots of very short snippets, uh, three to four seconds long. Even if it's the same product, change it. Like I'm in front of my kitchen and then I go to my living room and now I'm outside and now I'm at a park and now I just gave the gift and the person loves it. You know, really quick, short uh, snippets. Anyway, what you can do is you can highlight uh, the route or you can click this little microphone button and you can do text to speech. And let's say um, this is like quick and dirty. You don't want to hire a, a voiceover artist. You don't want to do the voiceover. All you can do, all you have to do is type it. So like, to my amazing wife. Never forget how much um, you truly mean to me. I may not have been your first kiss, your first love. I want to be your last everything. I love forever and always. Okay, so it's real quick and dirty, but now I can go ahead and I want to speed it up a little bit. Not super fast, just that's slow. Um, super fast can work. I've done videos with it. I'm going to try like kind of in the middle there. Generate speech. You can see a little progressy bar, and then boom, there it is. Now watch. To my amazing wife, never forget how much you truly mean to me. I may not have been your first kiss or your first love, but I want to be your last everything. I'll love you forever and always. To my amazing. Okay, so each line of the text gives you your own its own little thing so if you want to let it all run you can let it all run and put it all in one line if not you can always just shorten that up and then it transitions now you want to do let's say i don't want grace full female TikTok video edit no that's the only one they give you so that's the only downside of, of doing it their way is that you only get the graceful female voice but if you don't want to hire a voiceover artist and you don't want to do your voice um, this is an option for you. So, okie doke. Let's go back to, so that is a really good ad template. Again, as you're going through here, analyze what does this, what are similarities, what are differences? Let's watch one more and then I'll go on to the next thing. I'm a celebrity makeup artist and these are some of my favorite beauty products from Amazon.com. Hi, I'm someone that's important and you should listen to me. Here's the social proof I gave. Within five seconds, let me transition to what I found on Amazon. Really clear sunscreen. I am so picky about how sunscreen looks under makeup, and this one's perfect. And it should work. This one's amazing, and it just happens to be the product I'm selling, and I got it on Amazon. Sunscreen every day. Baby skin. 
Amazon Instant Pour Minimizer. Watch this. So it almost looks like she is an Amazon affiliate, would be my guess. So she probably has a channel. The reason I say that is it's traffic objective, so she's not really even trying to sell anything. Um, let me see what this is. Interact with this graph to see the most valuable time frame. So that's when she's clicking. Uh, can I click on it? I'm a celebrity makeup artist, and these are some of my... I'm a celebrity... View top hat. One comment. Just curious. I, I would imagine that if this ad is going to uh, Amazon, right? Like if she says, here, click on this and go to the Amazon, whatever, then because it's traffic, she's an affiliate for Amazon. So she's in the, the partner network. Um, that's my assumption on it, but it's, it's an explainer video. It's kind of like a, a listicle. If you ever heard of those, uh, a listicle is very common in native ad networks. It's also pretty common that I saw around holiday times. What you'll get is like the top five gifts for dad. Now, if you're looking for mother's day, uh, the top five gifts for mother's day, and then you would have a landing page for all five of whatever products. And obviously they should be your products. Um, but in this person's case, it's probably uh, she's just an Amazon affiliate and hoping to get a whole bunch of people cookied onto Amazon with her cookie. And then anything that they buy in the next, I forget what it is. I don't know if it's 24 hour. I think it's 24 hours. Um, if they buy anything on Amazon, she would get a commission off of it. So uh, if this is running for a long time, 165,000 likes, 597 shares, then it's been running for at least a month. So that's pretty good which means she's probably making some money off of this. So not a bad, not a bad strategy there. Let's see what else we have. We have seen a million videos with cult favorite beauty products, but today I'm breaking down one of my favorite products that's actually worth it and easy to buy on Amazon. Ew. I bet you it's a traffic campaign. Boom. It's a traffic campaign because she is also an Amazon affiliate. Let me see what this one does. I bet you this one is conversions. So you see the difference? I have a product to sell. I have my own website. Therefore, it's going to be a conversion campaign. I am an affiliate trying to get as much traffic to Amazon as possible so that I get cookied and someone buys stuff. So uh, two completely different strategies. You can still take this type of strategy, though, and send it directly to your website. So you could do something along the lines of... Um, I, uh, Amazon made me buy it or TikTok made me buy it. And then talk about, you know, I, I was searching through the web and I was looking at, I, I was tired of getting these uh, low quality uh, products from China. And this one came right from the United States and it's much higher quality. And look at this. And I gave it to my daughter or my mom or my wife or whomever. And they just, they cried when they read it. I never expected that kind of reaction. Absolutely love it. Can't wait. Um, uh, whatever, you know, so it's, you can give this type of explainer video. So this is uh, problem solve. This is explainer. This is a waste of money. This is called branding. So if you just do branding videos, you're not going to have much of a uh, lime is back. Sorry, we took it away. Like this is the world that we live in. We literally have to make an apology video about taking the lime skittles away. Uh, this is just Apple wasting money, but this is branding. Look how pretty and cool and amazing our uh, new iPhone 13 because now it's in green. So of course you're going to want to buy it now because it's in green. Let's see what this one does. Ooh. Okay. This is called a product demonstration, ladies and gentlemen. That's its conversion ad. What about? Boom. Conversion ad. Okay, so this is teeth whitening. So anyway, uh, you could spend all day long. If you honestly, if you guys have not found success on TikTok, have not found great success on advertising, you need to go and just spend a day, a week, 
analyzing this, break it down. What's similar, what's different, what hooks, hooks are the beginning of it. What do they do in the middle of it? What do you think the purpose is? What kind of ad is it? Is it an affiliate product? Is it them trying to sell their own thing? Um, really dissect it. And then you'll start to see patterns. Like I watch ads and I just see like good, good templates, good, bad, bad templates, good patterns, bad patterns. Shouldn't have done it. Why are you doing this? Is this a waste of money? And it's because I've seen hundreds of thousands of ads, right? We all have, but most of us are programmed to tune them out. Now you need to tune in and actually do the research. So this is a great place to start if you uh, are looking for video templates. Uh, and that was a specific question we had on it. Now, last bit of advice uh, for you all, something that I've seen time and time again with a most, the majority of Shine On uh, sellers, and that is you all, or the majority of you charge free shipping because I, I've just been told that this is what you do. You give free shipping and therefore uh, it, you won't have as many people abandon your checkout and therefore you will sell more stuff because we're giving free shipping. And I'm here to tell you that uh, that's 100% false. I've, tr I've split tested it for $35 million in sales personally. Before I ever joined Shine On, I did 30 million. Since we've been with Shine On, we've done over 5 million. And I still have these debates internally with my team and I love them and I let them run their brands the way that they wanna run their brands. However, there is no discernible loss in conversion rate using shipping costs versus not using shipping costs. Okay. So if you are not charging shipping on your products, I am gifting you an extra $5 and 95 cents per order. You're welcome. Let me show you how you set that up. You go into your store, you click on the bottom left, you go all the way to the bottom, you click settings, then you go up to shipping and delivery. And I will show you, you go to, this is where most of our, this is that um, million dollar funnel I did a couple of weeks ago. This is that product. Uh, we did a, a bunch of different products. You can see we tested a bunch of them, but California shipping is $6.95. Europe shipping is $6.95. United States shipping is $5.95. International flat rate shipping is $7.95. So that means anywhere outside of Europe or Canada or the U.S. gets charged $7.95 shipping. All I say is USPS three to five days. Uh, definitely want to put in the time frame for the shipping time in your shipping charge. Okay. Now, let me prove to you that you are not losing money or conversions by going with five ninety five shipping. Okay. So what's not, what you not really worrying about here is, uh, sales or returning rate. All we're really looking at is online conversion rate, right? So if we have online conversion rate and I forget when we actually did it, let me go to June. And I want to say it was like the beginning of September. So we had a conversion rate of 1.83%. Okay, this is when we had all free shipping, so all free shipping. No, we didn't charge shipping at all. Believe we added it in, um, in September. Where did it go? Conversion rate is 3.29. Now, there are multiple factors that went into getting that from 1.83 to 3.29. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that if you charge shipping, your, your conversion rate is going to go up. It was a full funnel overhaul, a lot of testing. We found a great product. It scaled to the moon. Okay. Over seven figures. If you watched two weeks ago, you saw it. What I'm saying is that charging shipping does not detract or reduce your conversion rate to the point where it loses the value of adding the shipping. Let me rephrase that. You charge shipping, you make an extra $6 in your cart. Every order, every order. It doesn't matter if it's one unit or seven units or whatever, it's $5.95 in your uh, order. So if they buy one unit, great. You made an extra six bucks off of each unit. If you bought three units, well, then you only made $2 a unit, but it's still extra money. So it's $6 per order, you're getting extra. 
okay? That allows you to cover extra costs. That allows you to have a little bit more expensive of an ad spend. It allows a little bit more flexibility and you have to judge on yourself. So if you need to baseline data, you need to keep track of it, that's fine. So you look at what is my current conversion rate? Okay, my con current conversion rate is this. Then institute shipping. Leave it for a week. This is my next week. Don't really change anything on ads. Leave everything as steady as possible. I understand that the ad environment is, is fluid and changes and all that stuff anyway. I get it. Don't make major changes to ads. Don't start new a whole bunch of new ads. Just leave everything kind of running for a week. This is what I did for the last week. I added shipping charge. This is what I'm going to do for the week after that. Okay. Assuming it's just like the $30 million in sales that I've run, your conversion rate will probably be the same, maybe 0.1 or 0.2 less. Okay. What you do is if it's less, you go, here's my conversion rate prior to shipping minus the conversion rate that it is after shipping. So let's say it's 0.2%. Okay. So I have a 0.2% difference. I will look at 0.2% and I will multiply the number of a 0.2 by the number of add to carts. So whatever the raw number, let's say you had a hundred add to carts that week and you go 0.2. Let me see what that would be. If I had a hundred add to carts, oops, times 0.2%. Yep. So zero, zero, two. That means I would have lost less than one sale. So if you lose less than one sale, but you've made an extra $6 on all the sales you got, is it worth it? I highly, highly, highly recommend you charge shipping and then test it. Okay. It might be different for you, but I doubt it. It's just going to be extra money in your pocket. All right, y'all. That is me for this week. Those are a couple of good tidbits for you. Uh, hopefully you learned a bunch and I will see you on the next shot of espresso. Until then, 